What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I appreciate all the new subscribers. You guys killed it yesterday on stream. As always, totally appreciate it. And if you love today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, because we do it big here every time we can. So I want to say a big thank you to all the people who came onto the stream today. Uh, we did finish Jeff Hardy. As you can see, he's already finished up. Amazing card. So, yeah. So, big thank you for everyone who came by. I'm actually uh, going to go ahead and pro a Braun Strowman that I just pulled. Maybe 10 minutes before them making this video. Give me one second, guys. Alright. Well, that's all done. Thank you so much. New catalog. As always. So, in this video, I'm pretty much going to, you know, let you guys know in some info on stuff and purchase two holiday packs as well because people love holiday packs and I want to buy some holiday packs baby we could actually open up two holiday packs in this episode they gave us two in the store guys two so we could get some luck we may have some bad luck either way it's there so yeah first things first I want to go ahead and claim my team RD this we are currently playing for Bobby Roode but we do have to claim this because we got Constable Baron Corbin. Don't think his card is amazing, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, we'll go ahead and go and lock him up real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go, Constable. So yeah guys, today you're gonna get information on the brand new event that's coming out on Thursday. We'll know more in depth about it, so that's good news. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now though is open up of these two packs. So I hope we can get something good out of it. It is close to four in the morning, so yeah. Let's see what we can get. Should I open up a neon lights pack? I never get anything good in these packs. <sighs> you think? It's not worth it. I would say, guys, if you would, this is worth it, in my opinion, but, eh. Not you getting something good or not. But here we go, the Holiday Bash. So, we already have an Xavier Woods. What we do want is, if I had to get a Neon, give me Woods or Nia Jax. But even a male wouldn't be that great for this. But, you know, maybe we can get some luck. We have not packed a Shatter card in a pack yet where we bought it. Still haven't bought it. Uh, got a Shatter card. So let's see if we can continue the streak. I think I'm, I think my account is on Super Cat Daddy Studios. They have me on the Switch of never. So we'll see. Can we finally get one? Because I, I still haven't got one. Nope. I'm hoping that's Nia Jax, though. So... Pro Xavier Woods, there you go. Overall, not bad. Now let's open up another one, because we can only open up two. Don't give me a third Xavier Woods. One, two, three, kid. All right, not bad. We get Elias and Curtis Axel. So overall, okay, not great. So yeah. We did get a Pro Neon though, so that's cool, but. Uh, Neon Pros are just not good at the moment. Like, yeah, I'll make my Road to Glory deck, so. It pretty much compares to Money in the Bank card, pretty much. Alright. One, two, three, good. Xavier Woods. I'm gonna go into the Go uh, Goliath. So, we did get a Pro Curtis Axel. We'll just combine them because he's just not worth proing properly. And that's that. We got a Big Show. I'll go ahead and log. I don't even know if I'll keep Curtis or not, but yeah. And we got Elias for our Summer Slam 18. We'll lock him in for catalog later on. So, yeah, guys. That would do it for uh, this part of the video. I'm going to see if I can add uh, anything else more awesome for the video and keep it real with y'all. So, we'll be right back. Alright you guys, in the second part of this video, I want to show you guys images, because I didn't want to take video, I'm going to show you images of the brand new 
over the limit game mode. Now, guys, this is the brand new game mode that's going to be dropping on Thursday. You know, a lot of people were hyped for it. Now, if you guys want my opinion on it, you know, I'm looking at it. It seems to be grind heavy compared to spend heavy. So I think a lot of you will be doing just fine for this event if you guys can play. You know, you, if you're a constant grinder, like a lot of people say you are, then you should have no trouble with this type of event. So guys, there's no excuse. This will prove if you're a grinder or not, because you're gonna need to grind for these hype things in the new game mode and over the limit. So here is the first image, as you can see, these are what we call the hype. You're gonna pull these off the board. It's pretty much like TBG in a way, except it's hype. Now you could pay money to times it by five, or you could probably just hype it by one. I think you could you automatically pull a hype no matter what, because when I was watching the video, unless it was an energy, it seems like they were pulling them off the board every card. So I guess every car limit, you'll be able to get 200. So you're gonna be pulling these hype things off the board and then uh after that you're gonna you're gonna play your you can play the mode as you can see there's reveal so obviously ads can play a factor into this and your job is to get the max amount of points and finding three of the same uh, images and try to get the most points as possible so pretty much you could have a really bad one a really good one or not so I think you're better off starting at the 200 mark instead of lower because the more points then it benefits you so i would say make sure you cash in once you have 200 or above or 200 i'd say because i think that's the limit 200 will be the limit if you can get more of a bonus that's even more better so yeah and your job is just to match three and to get the points up then after that you have this type of board over the limit you see there's one just for you and then there's one for the community which i find really really cool you know it's like you're relying on your friends and everyone else to help you get the global up and stuff like that it's pretty freaking awesome i like that idea very good concept and i was told that this is going to be like a heroic mode maybe coming this seems like it's coming back not 100 percent sure on that but it seems like heroic mode is coming back <coughs> oh boy and it seems this event will be with like Road to Glory and Ring Domination. So at least it's different there. We don't always have to rely on Road to Glory, Ring Dom, Road to Glory, Ring Dom. Now it could be Road to Glory, Over the Limit, Ring Dom, Road to Glory, Over the Limit, Ring Dom. They could switch it up here and there. And uh, of course, the, the dreadful LMS, which is the credit killer of all time and the most... The mode that pretty much punishes players for having good decks. That's that's the one mode I can't stand because you can't edit your deck and you just get screwed in LMS. If you could edit your deck in LMS, that would be fine, but you can't. You, you, you get screwed. So, But I know there's got to be some type of balance in there, but you know, to be punished for having a good deck doesn't make sense to me. It just really doesn't. So this is what the new mode is. The first event card is going to be apparently Elias. We all knew it was probably going to be a lie because they were teasing it in a freaking concert venue every damn time they were teasing it. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm really pumped up for this event. Uh, it's a grind one and you know, it's not leaderboard based, which I was which is what I was a little worried about because when it's leaderboards, you know you got to play your games and me, you know, working Saturday, Sunday, 10 hour shifts. It, it, it worries me because I would have to spend Thursday, Friday like crazy just to avoid the Saturday, Sunday punishment. Of not being able to play and then from saturday night to sunday night but yeah uh so yeah this mode seems like fun it doesn't seem heavy credit heavily and it seems like it's just gonna be all about grinding so guys let me guys let me know down below guys are you pumped up for this event and guys if you guys want my honest opinion I, I i'm ex excited it's different and you know we have two type of different rewards you know it's gonna be insane uh, I will have this on YouTube if anyone's wondering. I'll, I'll give you my best strategies if I can on YouTube because obviously this is going to just be solo based. But, you know, if I'm going to need you guys to commit to the global hype, I'm going to need to give you my advice because your points matter to me for the global hype. They also help other people too, which probably do, they don't deserve it. But, you know, it's the global. So we'll, we'll work together on this and get through it. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. We gave you a little bit of everything. You got the tea, you got some information about Over the Limit, new game mode. You got the holiday bash packs. Uh, and yeah, so we'll leave it at that. 
and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another Supercar video. As always, we will catch you guys later. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We'll have gameplay of this on Thursday. And hit the like button if you enjoyed today's content as always. We'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.